In this example, I'm going to show you guys how to successfully import a file with transparencies and cut lines into VersaWorks. So we're going to be working in Illustrator with a vector file. And the first thing I'm going to do is refer to the layers dialog box or the, the palette on here on the right. So make sure you have your layers showing. And this is going to allow us to organize the objects within this file easily. That's critical. Layer order and object order within a file such as the one we're working with is critical and you'll realize why by the end of this demonstration. So we have all of our information here in this layer called CMYK. Typically um, you, you want to separate objects out just for sake of organization in a file uh, by employing the layers. And another neat thing about layers is that you can actually uh, look at the object order within a layer and here we notice that the cut path happens to be at the very top of all of these other objects. Um, so let's first put transparencies on these petals. So in order to do that I'm going to duplicate all of the information uh, in this file into another layer by simply dragging this, uh, this layer into the create new layer icon here at the bottom and I'll turn off the original layer and I'm going to rename this guy transparencies the name is not important I'm just doing this to be able to identify the objects and let's select the petals and by deselecting the petals and selecting everything else we can do away with everything else on that layer and now we have the petals by themselves so turn those off let's turn the bottom ones to white take away their stroke so now we have a white base for the pink transparency petals so I'll select them and let's make this file even a little bit more complicated let's get the gradient dialog box out we'll make them a gradient and we'll make them go from pink to white and let's make them transparent. So we're going to make them 50% transparent just to soften them up a bit. So now we have a file with cut lines and transparencies. Now, we didn't really pay attention to the order of the transparencies and the cut lines, but well, you'll notice that the transparencies are on top of the cut lines, and that is the beginning of our problems. But let's go ahead and save this file as we typically do. So we can save a file that's vector uh, with cut lines to, into two different formats, either EPS or PDF. So let's save this file as, a, as an EPS. So from our drop down, we'll select EPS, save it, and we get this warning. And many of you are familiar with this warning and you've probably never read it but let's read it and see what it says. It says, when spot colors are used with transparencies, changing them to process colors outside of Illustrator can generate unexpected results. I th don't really understand what that says, but most likely there is a problem or I'm going to have a problem with this file. But really what it's actually saying, it's saying I'm converting all of the data in this file to CMYK. That is not good because it is actually breaking up our spot color, which happens to be our cut line, and that cut line is no longer going to be recognized by VersaWorks. So when we import the file in, upon import, we see that the cut lines are not there. And that is not good. So let's resolve that problem. Now, before we do that, I'll say, I'll, we'll save the file as a PDF, which is the other uh, print cut format so we'll change the format to PDF and import that file now that time we didn't get the warning so we there is no problem with our file we're importing it into VersaWorks we double click and again no cut line but we were not forewarned that there would be an issue so let's figure out how to resolve this issue Let's go ahead and just take these files out of here. 
and I'll show you how to overcome that problem. So at the beginning of this uh, little demonstration, I said that object order and layer order was critical in order for this to work. And the first step and the first thing you're going to do is this. You're going to get this cut line to be on top of this transparency. And you can do that by, in this case, simply duplicating, again, the CMYK data, which happens to have the cut line information in it. We'll turn off the CMYK base file. We'll select the cut line and do away with all of the art. And now we have the cut line isolated in its own layer. And we'll call this one cut line or cut contour. The name doesn't really matter. It's just, just for organization's sake. You can call it cut line or anything you want. Now, the one thing we do want to do though is we want to place it on top of the transparency. It must be on top of the objects with transparencies, which, which are the petals here. Okay, so now we have our cut line and then the transparencies, but in their object order, the cut lines are on top. Let me turn those off and then we'll take the cut line away from the base CMYK information because we don't want that, that line to print instead of cut. So now we have everything in the proper order. We have the color data, the transparencies, and the cut line in the right order. And this is the next important step. We're going to save the file into a very specific format. And this dialog box comes up and the compatibility uh, level that we want to employ is 1.3. And then the next step is we want to go to advanced, custom, and make sure not to convert all strokes to outlines. This is typically on and selected um, to take place. You want to deselect that option and click OK. So now we'll go ahead and save the file. And import it into VersaWorks. And by double clicking on the file, we open it and we can see that both the transparency and the cut line are present. So let's back up to Illustrator now and overview the structure of this file. So again, we have the CMYK data in the bottom. The transparency information is on top of that and the cut line for the sake of layer order is at the very top. Now, if we were to merge all of this information, so we'll merge the layer, all of this information now is in the same layer, layer or level, you can also move the cut information within a layer. So if the cut information, for example, was below the transparency, which is unidentified here, and we save this file. And we'll just save it as a version with one layer. And we try to employ uh, the Adobe PDF 1.3 format, which flattens transparencies. This file will also give us a problem because of the layer or, or the object order. So if we double click on it, the cut line does not show up. And if we go back to Illustrator and place the cut line in the object order, or the sub order of this layer, we place the cut line on top of the transparencies. And we do the same thing again, save it. And we'll just call this one layer on top and save again version 1.3 let's confirm that convert all strokes to outlines is not selected confirm that save PDF minimize we'll bring that file into VersaWorks 
and we have our cut lines. So two ways of getting transparencies and cut lines to effectively make it into VersaWorks, one being with multiple layers or simply making sure that cut lines are always on top of every object in the file.